Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. I hope you had a good eclipse. It's been quite a fever around it, hasn't it? So um, not that I really noticed, because especially the last few days, I was very much guided to just pull back. There, like I knew that all of my life was, all of my energy, all of my time for myself or to hold this field, the both end. It's really all interconnected because that's the thing. Once we fully are in alignment with our true purpose and mission, I mean, there is really no division between normal, our private life and work life. And even calling it work always seems wrong um, because truly it's it's passion. It's, it's mission. <laughs> it's... Um, I pretty much get consumed by the whole ascension thing. And there's very little beyond that because I know I can't fully relax until we are all around the campfire, like truly fully, as well as I know that what gets us there is me being fully relaxed and happy and in joy and in love bliss, which um, we are merging with. I was about to say working on, but that would not be the right term to use. It's <laughs> not in like yet. It's always when I hear work, it, it always reminds me on Hitler's, um, you know, what they did over the concentration camp, this Arbeit macht frei, work makes free. And as I was saying to my brother the other day, um, work makes sick, especially in this society. So truly, many of us have come here as work has made us sick. I know it was for me the case that really triggered my awakening where work made me sick or rather my thinking around work made me sick because obviously it doesn't happen to just anyone but those of us who are very sensitive are tuned in and don't just fit into the boxes and can play along this really bad game and um, adjust to this reality because this is not true reality it's not made for um, a human being to thrive in it's an enslavement matrix. It's a simulation. That's the good part because it's then down to us. It's truly in our power, which we have well executed to end and terminate the simulation right now, right here. And it's already in progress and fully locked in, sealed and being delivered, rolled out right now, right here. Usa, in a say no kuna to kuru shukunu to ka ainata ratina karatsuka iced 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 asha karata. Thank you so much for those who took part in the activation for the eclipse. That was truly powerful. I had to lie down to do the activation. Um which for me was a really good experience, also because I could feel more in my own body, you know, uh, happening simultaneously. Because I need to be really relaxed. And I can only recommend being really relaxed. Um, your whole body, just lying down. Yeah, you can do meditations lying down. I can only really go really deep when I lie down and my body is fully relaxed. I don't need to. Because that's when you are, I mean, that's the state of love bliss in a way of the sense. This, this is where you can go fully weightless, fully like this is where I can dissolve into nothingness. Because again, you're not sitting up, you're not holding up your body, you're not walking, you're not, you know what I mean? You're not using any muscle. You can fully just let go. So that for me is when I really, truly activate my light body when I work with this, you know, in my own space. Just a recommendation from Lift Experience. So thank you so much again for anyone and everyone who is and still will be part of this very powerful activation uh, we did for the eclipse. So terminating the simulation. The details are below in the description box on how to access this. Um, also read the accompanying post um, on my YouTube community page is easiest from here. So um, as well as Facebook or my Kofi page, which acts as my website page, because that's just working for me quite well. So truly now you can access again the replay details. The activation was super powerful. I can highly recommend it assisting you to truly like um i had an issue with recording it separately i need to um anyway uh it's on the zoom replay so i just didn't record it this time or it didn't work for me to record it separately 
so you can't download it separately via mp3 this time but again the zoom recording is there we went for over four hours 20 minutes there's a lot in there a few points i'm going to touch on but i'm trying really for once to not make this too long because i do need to sleep and rest i mean even yesterday i was considering of doing you know um like i had already everything more or less written up for another update but i was really like i needed all of my energy all of my time all of my life force to keep holding this field to keep bringing this in to keep doing my part to lead us all the way home until we are all there no one left behind this is the emerald order promise all souls return back to the original place ultimately that is source and this is literally what's happening this is all all souls being reset as one the one cosmic monad this is part of the um, transduction sequence that I mentioned in my last video or I called it birth transduction record um, I'm going to leave the link below to this to Ascension Glossary the birth or, or rather she calls it transduction sequence um, but again these are um, blueprints templates that are ignited through um, the eight fetal cells that are held at the bottom of your coccyx and literally as they ignite as part of the Kundalini extended um, you know, the Kundare currents that we've been working with, the Antekarana fully igniting. Um, these have been fully ignited, as I mentioned in my last video. And today we also brought out into the collective field. Again, these are very collective activations. They don't just assist and accelerate and make your own journey a little bit easier, your ascension journey. And they're truly powerful. So again, you need to resonate with this. It's um, This was a really high frequency call. I feel like literally some of us are already flying. And again, wherever you feel you're at, just truly let keep letting go. Just quick way through, keep letting it all go. The past fully, as well as, again, everybody just needs to follow their, their inner guidance, how to resolve everything. This is our full and final quantum breakthrough. It's here now, but again, it means different things for different people. So again, plasma light body activations, multi-dimensional integration um, if you want some assistance with that this activation alone um, is super powerful and will really assist you and is already very much underway in the field but you will you know assist us amplifying this accelerating it as well as for your own blueprint template journey um, if you take part so thank you so much for those who did and again remember the next 72 hours are pivotal and i explained a lot more in the call so i truly see like this is big massive changes unfolding now be very very intentional with what you're creating right now whatever you pay attention to your time energy money is what you keep feeding amplifying Withdraw your attention from that which you don't want to keep co-creating, especially right now, as all of this MK Ultra programming is along with the false ego self and this false matrix simulation being fully unplugged, reset, cleared. This is full, clear, whiteboard wiping of the dream field, fully completing now over the next 48 to 72 hours. So jump high, jump wide, nothing to lose. You're literally in a video game. You need to fully reclaim your diamond avatar self. That is fully fearless. And just jumps all in. And is the happy fool. This is all about experience, experiments, for us to truly figure out what works, what doesn't. Because, you know, if other people tell us, it's not quite the same, is it? So, you know, trust that whatever you decide to do or don't do is ultimately the right thing, as well as, you know, this is the time I truly, I can feel. So with the transduction sequence fully being ignited, reset to the new ascension of realities, the new divine organic creatrix field, this is literally, it's, it's like you're getting a whole new birth chart, um, literally a new identity. Because it's your eternal cosmic spirit body fully overwriting all of these distortions at mental, emotional, etheric, and physical levels. 
So it's becoming very physical right now. It's going to get very intense, but also in a really, really good way. 515. Like the heart fully breaking, fully wide up, open. The cosmic Christ, God seed, permanent seed atom, the Tauran cell within it, bursting fully wide open, fully igniting our blueprints. And now the new earth coordinates us literally as if you get a new birth family, a new, you know, a whole new reality. Because again, the transduction sequence and at monadic level is literally like, again, it's connected to where you're born, when you're born, and the families you're born into, the whole blueprint, your character, so to say, in the game, the role you've been playing. But underneath that is your eternal cosmic spirit body consciousness, which is holding your whole multidimensional blueprint, fully integrated merged with, which we've been busy with, and clearing out all of that, which is not. And the real true you is fully coming online now, but you need to align with it. So anyone who's not feeling it, that they're there, basically at the finish line, okay, having overcome all the lessons and are literally done with this experience, okay, again, nobody can do this for you. It's not just happening by default, as well as we're doing this on behalf of everyone, and the more of us can get into full alignment with their real, true, authentic, eternal God self, the quicker we get there and the easier it is for everybody to pick up on the field. If you don't feel in alignment with that, I can only suggest to you, look back on my other free videos. This is what I do this for, literally. Okay? So even if you've been, for example, hating on me until now, but now you're kind of starting to see the light, look back on the other videos. Dig into my calls, activations. They really are. Because when you give money also, you get a lot back. You know, I mean... My field blesses people, especially those that are giving to me. And especially, you know, again, it needs to come from the right place. Because again, God knows everything. But you know what I mean? It's been returned to you and blessings also. And I know they're very fairly priced. They are ultimately priceless. They're so powerful. And for example, joining the membership container, like only tier two is now available. I close tier one and tier three. Uh, but there you get literally the whole, all the calls, activations back from uh, September last year. It's like 25 group calls, uh, as well as, um, I believe, as many, if not more, uh, these open group calls and activations that we've been busy doing. And that help us keep clearing, healing, activating, upgrading, activating the new Cosmic Christ blueprint. I literally activate, ignite that core blueprint within all beings. That's the healing power my field holds and what i will be very much focused on now for the next three days to bring this all to its conclusion to my part is going deep within to really literally heal off okay. and again we're doing this all as one so as already said go deep within we're all meeting around the campfire inside of our sacred crystal hearts those that are meant to those that really resonate with this and have done the work, so to say, as well as we're all, okay, again, ascending out of this prison matrix. But again, there are also differences in light body activations in us. Again, we want to be together with our tribes, okay? This is like both ends. We're fully unifying within this unity field as well as we're being guided back to our true soul family, those who really see us, get us, are of soul frequency resonance with us. Again, these transduction sequences fully reset back to our real true reality our ancient future and it's free of all fallen timelines is sonata all karmic load as if it never has happened it's a parallel reality we're fully accessing right fucking now not in some future timeline there is only now only in the lower realities do you have time space this false fucking gravity field magnetic field and again i spoke more about this in the call but truly, the false magnetic field is part of the false firmament. It's keeping you in a false sense of density. This is not true reality. Now, this is going ahead one way or another. How? We shall see. Because all of you, all of us are playing a big role in how. And that means, again, different things for different people. For me, it means fully letting go, surrendering, and literally not doing much beyond looking after myself and having a good time. 
as well as again I keep going into the field and working my magic there and healing all which is healing me which is the great I am fully returned so that's the activation again I can highly recommend the details are below on how to access that um but yeah, you need to fully align yourself with your real true self. Only you know what that looks like. And it's you fully at one with your heart. And again, you can't, you know, explain this in one video. I've done many on this as well as cards. So dig into that. If you want to truly align with your real true eternal and authentic God self, the Christ self. And it's more than words. We need to fully transcend words, arguing about them. This is more about frequency, energy. You know, people can say many things all day long. What are they really doing? Being. What are they emanating? Again, what I speak, somebody else could take notes, say the same thing. It's not going to come across the same way. It's not going to activate, clear, heal, balance, harmonize, ignite your blueprint, feel the way my presence, my morphogenetic field, my auric field does, has an effect on people. And I know this is sacred healing medicine, elixir, that I'm sharing literally from my heart for free with everyone. So again, thank you so much for anyone who likes, shares, subscribe, comments. Sorry that I haven't reacted to any comments over the last two videos. I've just needed to be fully within my field as much as possible. Um and not have so many outside influences. You know, like sometimes comments can also be a bit distracting depending on what they are. You know, you never know what you're going to come across at. So sometimes I just don't want to look because it's just, um, it just doesn't disturb my field. And yeah, anyway. So, but thank you so much. Just know I really do appreciate it. And it does help me in my channel because, you know, it's been challenging with all the imbalance in the field and a lot of backlash and a lot of you know negative energy in the field and it's not even expressed in freaking comments or any of that um but we're not going to go into this now this is ancient past history now because the new future is success people loving my work appreciating what i do being grateful giving back equal give and take and just we feel nourished and keep watering one another and keep you know, wanting to see each other grow and do well. Um, because truly, again, if you're not feeling it yet and you're struggling, just know those of us who are really feeling like we're here now and we've done it and we're ascending, when it's in the field, it's in the field. So know that you can get there as well. All you need to do right now is really fully let go of all the thought forms, the state of no mind. No mind is karma free. Okay, so to say, literally, we're at this stage, just let it all go. This has been false, no matter how real you think any of this shit is. It's all imagination. You are dreaming. All we need to do right now is fully quantum leap and merge with your fully ascended, healed version of self, of reality as, as a whole. The one cosmic Christ is fully reborn. The new crystal Sophia is all here now. So on the seventh, what I saw happening was the cosmic mother, father, Tree of Life fully merging the Kundalini, the extended Kundalini currents, Kundalini currents of the Kundalini, fully merging as one new cosmic quantum tree of life. This has happened at higher level and it's now going to physically unfold. Because again, it first happens virtually and then it comes down and then it happens in the physical, as well as we have now merged spirit and matter. So now we no longer need to wait forever for this to become physicalized, but it's almost imminent now. That's why manifestations are quickening you know, what seems to be more powerful, as well as the activation today, really very powerful. And, and what my work generally does is activate your higher multidimensional blueprint and gifts, abilities, your power. It's all about self-empowerment. I want everybody to be their own highest authority, God sovereign and free, because this is what leads us all the way home, because we need a whole bunch of leaders, a whole pack of lines. Keep lighting the way, being the lighthouses, keep spreading the word of God and having their own direct connection, not needing anyone else as a middle woman man or modality or technique or thing that gets you access to source. All of this is part of it, but ultimately you know that your direct connection to sources, I mean, it's inside of your heart. 
That's where everything is. And that's, that's where we find one another. This is where we are literally igniting the party. It's happening inside of you, your own DNA blueprint. That's the firm shop to your, to your realities, literally. And this is fully reset through this reset, through the heart fully igniting, these templates and blueprints for the Kundalini currents, Kundalini. Lighting everything up, the cosmic quantum tree of life and that of the divine masculine and feminine, the crystal Sophia, fully reunited as one. And it's happening within each one of us. We are the second coming of the Christ. We are reimagining all new archetypes. So forget, like we are the new guardians and the Senate masters of all new free worlds. We are not going back to old things. We're not, I'm not waiting for some Joshua to come down from the clouds. We are it. And we are remembering something totally new again an ancient future free of all the fallen timelines and this is happening in your own field so free of all of this karmic crap literally as it's like the the past memories as they're fully healed all of your trauma wounds fully healed and you realign with your real true self you're literally keep shifting realities what people call timelines but this is now happening quantum style very freaking quickly because as you fully ignite through action New highest timelines, that what your heart really truly wants, free of all fears, doubts, worries, and insecurities, which were never real to begin with. You're quantum igniting, aligning yourself with your highest trajectories. But you need to choose it. Nobody can do this for you. If you're just sitting there listening to videos and not doing nothing, keep living your normal life, not changing. And the change really happens from deep inside because we can move around, we can change partners, we can change jobs, we can change locations people places things but nothing ever really changes until you change from deep inside on how you ultimately see yourself everyone else and reality and how this truly works which is what my work helps a lot with so as you shift your perception you shift the way you look at things and that's how reality shifts for you as you shift people shift around you because it's all energetic we're all quantum entangled all effects are this is why it's so important to really truly own this the responsibility and accountability we have for our realities and how we affect one another by what we do and don't do. You know, non-action is also action. Imagination literally is reality. It's what creates reality. It's first created from inside of you. You first of all feel it and then you see it out there. Most of this so far has been unconscious. That's what has been made conscious as spirit and matter, the unconscious and the conscious. All of these principles, polarities, fully merged, unifies one, higher, lower self, shadow and light. All of it gold. You just need to figure it out what of this is this. You can't compartmentalize the shit and good and bad, right, wrong. No. This is multidimensional rainbow colors. So there's nothing happening on the sun. We're literally beneath sea glass levels, which I haven't seen in, I don't know, maybe two years. Um... Schumann has moved to Telegram. I don't really care. I'm not really checking anymore. Sometimes I see it on X. Um, but I'm not checking, checking anything because, again, it's just this reality is just boring. And we are remembering something totally new right now. Again, I can highly recommend just creating a lot of space, going deep within to really fully ignite your multidimensional DNA. And it ignites very simply through the frequency of true divine self love. That's the key to everything. Again, it's you really excavating your real true self beyond all of these layers of the false self, these masks, the conditioning, the programming. Looking at all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly, embracing all of it. It's not so much about changing, just love it all the way up and then you will understand why you are the way you are until you no longer judge no parts of you. That's you fully unified whole within your real true self. And that's when the things now fully fall away that you no longer need. But you did need them until to get you here. Otherwise, you wouldn't have needed them. Whatever survival mechanisms we all had, self-destructive and self-sabotaging behaviors, that is all part of this false matrix. All of these things we picked up from our environment that we're clearing ultimately on behalf of all. If you take the judgment out, the opinions, the belief systems, you know, whatever we judge within another, we have done ourselves or will be doing. Some part of us is still doing it. It's something we are in separation with. So this is why others can show us, you know, because we can see the shadows in others, can we, you know, easily, but not so much within the self. That's why we need these mirrors. But now as we shift, we can laugh at them because it's no longer big, heavy healing and are we also 
here, you know, you're also broken and fucked here. No, you're already healed. It's your perception, the way you see things that keeps projecting out unhealed bodies, toxic realities. You have the power to shift it all from inside of you through your imagination, just like the placebo effect. Everything that applies to all, as well as, yes, we needed to take all of these false layers down, you know. But now this work is basically done. The dream field is being fully wiped clear, and now we get to paint in all new multidimensional rainbow colors. Okay, and you start all over again. All of the faults, programming, overlays, all of this ancestral luggage, karmic load, fully cleared. As you fully forgive yourself, have the big picture, bring everything into full coherence, true peace, reconciliation from inside of you, the Holy Trinity, Holy Grail, fully rebirthed through you, true unity inside of you. That's the Holy Family, the happy family inside of you, fully, you know, at home. Because truly, this whole frequency of home, it's happening inside of you. It's inside of your heart. So no matter what goes on, where you are, you always will feel at home. It's you at one with source, with your real true self. Again, and as you align, all aligns. And many people can feel this right now. It's really funny. But I even felt this with my fire today. Like I have a fireplace, which I love. And sometimes, you know, like can be very chaotic. Like some days it's not going very well. And it's like kind of a chaotic fire. <laughs> today it was just so aligned it was not even funny i didn't even get my hands any black you know usually you pick up some of the color like hardly anything usually i need to keep washing my hands need to keep going there need to keep adjusting things no as like a light as a fire could be whilst it's still you know not looking unnatural so to say too perfect which i don't like anyway I don't know if anyone gets this, but I was just like, wow, even the fire is fucking aligned. <laughs> so fun, this was hilarious. So everything is aligned and it's almost too good to be true because you're not used to it. Like I had things like where I was really like, okay, I'm not in touch, what it happens or not happens. That's the main magic thing, okay? Especially the things we really want. It's very hard to not be attached, okay? To let go fully. But that's really what gets you everything. So letting go of all the people, places, things even the things you most want, okay, is what gets you that and more you could ever wish for. Again, it's it's a whole state of magnetizing to you what you already are, because in the other false matrix simulation, it's all inverted, where it's like you're seeking that which you already are and you feel separated from. But it's you anyway. And you keep pushing it away by wanting it so much. So anyway, so because these are all energies, this is friction in the field. It's this push-pull that happens in all kinds of ways and shapes and forms between the polarities and especially in what we would call, you know, manifestation. It plays a big role. So the art of non-attachment is like, you know, you letting go is what allows the quantum standing wave function to collapse into its highest quantum possibility as well as action does that. But you need to be non-attached to the outcome um for you to reach highest potential so to say so where was i going with that i can't remember anyway that principle was explained so i also want to keep the short notes again i don't even know maybe half an hour okay so this is truly where we need to intentionally use the right use of power which is mastery over our mind and create through us using our biggest superpower which is our imagination in a very um intentional way this is us truly reclaiming our creator self and again we are here it's not about the others it's about us leading the way we are the return we are the new guardians ascended masters magic grail queens and kings the cosmic dragons I mean, we're all of these things. We're so many things. That's why we're creating something totally new. So your multidimensional self, fully integrated, you can shapeshift between all of these forms if you have that kind of blueprint and I've activated this now and this is coming fully online because it is. So truly, teleportation, bilocation, healing, manifestation, um, telepathy, obviously is a big part of the new 
telepathic communication network interdimensionally, which is really uniting us all as one tribe fully. It's a big part of it, of the new cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rosehead network that we've worked with plenty in our calls and activations. And that's coming online cosmically, truly, uniting all as one. And this is where everything is known. All that has been kept in the dark, all the secrets is known as well as you know, it's literally a telepathic field where you can't withhold, you can't lie, you can't manipulate, you would know. So this is the full and final ignition. It truly is here. I have so many notes. I'm not going to say to say them. They're out in the field, truly. Um, again, the replay of the call will give you a lot more on all that I have touched on. The activation itself is very, very powerful. Five, three, five, five, five. Uso shana te kana sina tu kuru tu no su ishana te aki. Big massive shifts and changes are here in physical, tangible reality. That's all I can see. Those of us who've been especially part of the call, this field, and again over the next seventy-two hours, this continues to unfold and build. I'll focus on that as well as fully letting go of any attachment to outcomes but you know it's already here keep holding the frequency keep holding the field with me as one the one cosmic christ fully was set rebirthing all new free worlds so this is already the cosmic mother is birthing all new free worlds since the seventh um i think i forgot to mention that i think i wrote it in the post which is already quite long Anyway, it is what it is. And truly, all of my work holds a lot of keys and codes assisting you on your ascension journey. Um, as well as you need to align for all to align. You need to align with this new blueprint, this new state of beingness, true freedom, liberation from the fear matrix, okay? All of this false programming, all I can say is literally keep emptying yourself. Nothing to lose, nothing to hold on to but the faults. Surrender all to source. It's your direct connection, like a child would do from the heart. You keep doing it. You also need to share your gifts. You know, you need to keep sharing it with the world to be giving more power, giving more power, more gifts, more abilities. If you just sit on them, not use them, not speak your truth, not more is going to come. This is also why I hold a lot of power and wisdom because I constantly share it for the greater good of all. And I keep following my guidance, and which is God speaking through me. I know I have fulfilled my mission, my purpose, and way beyond. That's when you know, you know, you, you just know when you're on target. You just know because you know your true self. That's your God self. That's the mission. You at one with your real true God self, okay? You are multidimensional self, fully unified as one. So truly, we are the revolution, the evolution of the one consciousness, okay? Fully resetting right now, the collective awakening is here the revelation of real truth setting everyone free not some fallen timelines where you're given a list of all the bad people i'm sorry you are it we are it we are all of these things you need to only quantum merge and align synchronize with a reality where all of this has been like a bad dream we remember the lessons but no longer the history these false fallen timelines okay fully wiped and you remember a whole new future, ancient future, which is giving you a whole new now. Again, remember, the now is based on the past. And right now, another thing happening since the seventh, is past, present, future fully dissolving back into the cosmic mother's womb as she is rebirthing reality as one of the cosmic father simultaneously. And again, we are all of this. We are one. This is the return of the totality of the singularity, oneness. This is the unity field. No more separation, as well as you're playing your role. But no more attachment to your role, your identity, the roles we're playing. Remember, this is all a dream. All you need to do right now is fully awaken from it, fully align yourself with your real true self. Bring everything into full reconciliation, true peace, real truth. And you get there by fully emptying yourself and keep asking God to show you the real truth. If you really want to know, you will be shown. And even those who don't want will be shown the truth, but they might still not want to know. But that's not, you know, our concern, so to say. So imagine 
all the bad people being, so to say, gone, return to source, one-way ticket, that's what's happening. This is full and final. <laughs> um, they're being escorted home. And again, we all came from source that we are all returning to, the God self, us remembering ourselves all as one. That's what heals all. That's real true. Okay? Not us hunting down some bad people. Truly, they're suffering already enough. Okay? No more suffering. The pain and shadow body of the collective fully healed. The dark matter Russia body fully reset as the eternal cosmic spirit body is fully taken over and literally giving you a whole new reality, personality, so to say, character within the game. But it's very fluid. It's your whole multidimensional self, your soul, oversoul, avatar, rishi, one pure true God self and consciousness, all unified as one. Within your morphogenetic field, fully healed, fully sealed, fully repaired. That's the morphogenetic field, the blueprint, fully healed. Also for the planet and cosmically so. The cosmic citizen, the cosmic Christ, fully rebirthed, fully returned, fully risen, fully ascending, all as one, right now. Believing is seeing, it helps a lot. Again, my favorite affirmation suggestion would be, I am fully healed and ascended. Now, right now, or just, I am fully healed and ascended. Again, when you take language away, past, present, future, you, me, us, them, that's part of the separation, Okay. Take language out of it, all separation, judgments, opinions, belief systems, let it all the way the fuck go. Right now, it's going to help you a lot to be shown real truth. It's beyond all of these concepts. Fully transcend any separation left in your field, in your consciousness. Empty yourself. Keep emptying yourself. Just be right now. That's all I want right now. Just being. That's loveless. You're mindfully free of all of these thoughts, worries, doubts, fears, insecurities, which were never freaking real to begin with. See them for what they truly are. Programming. Fully dissolving in the field, along with the false fear matrix. Let it all the way the fuck go. Stop recreating this insanity, please. Now, insanity. It's happening anyway, but the more can get on board the quicker this goes, okay? So stop feeding the faults. Stop being afraid of the faults. It's a dream, okay? It's the same like when you're watching a movie, you know, like, let's say your child gets afraid to tell them or anyone. It's just a movie. Remember, it's not real, okay? So now we're fully awakening. That's our job done. Keep following your guidance. Your heart knows how to get all the way home. It knows how to fully align with your real true self, one step at a time. And now, truly, as the big healing work is done, we fully let go of all that no longer serves us, all the people, places, things that aligns us with our real true self. You need to know what you want, what you don't want, and keep feeling what you want, especially now. Whatever you keep focusing on, your time, your energy, your money, is what you keep feeling. Withdraw it from all the people, places, things you don't want to keep co-creating. Okay? It's really quite simple. It's not that easy. But that's where, you know, intentional focus comes really in. You being in an intentional co-creator now at one with source. And it's really you just letting go and letting source redream the, the dream through you. It's You're doing very little at that stage. This is where it becomes full flow state now. It becomes ease and grace. No longer trying to make it work and happen like this is literally everything aligning even the things you you know you don't even think they might come true it's like oh okay thank you and it's almost too good to be true but it's just like believe it this is the new normal now okay us having fun the new lightness of being us living in joy in love bliss it's a state of no mind your mind is a receiver and transmitter it's not supposed to figure all of the shit out it's never going to figure out ascension it can't your heart knows the way it's felt ecstasy, enlightenment, awakening. Now, truly, this journey was always about us returning fully home. And that's right inside of us, right inside of our sacred crystal heart. This is where literally your soul, your source within is found 
and radiates out from as the new diamond suns of God fully ignite the new diamond rainbow plasma light body, the eternal spirit body fully overriding any and all remaining distortions on all layers and levels of creation, all worlds, all universes, all beings, races, kingdoms fully unified as one, rebirthed as one, Ushukra, East, Ait, Ait, Atarata, in no time whatsoever. This is a quantum leap within the one consciousness fully clear, uh, completing right now. So remember, there's literally nowhere to go to. It's always here now, right inside your heart, always accessible. The eternal now, eternal consciousness, you had one of it all. Okay, full relaxation is the key. And remember, you always held the power. You only just forgot how to properly use it. That nothing out there is more powerful than you at one resource. Okay, so now power all the way up, rise all the way, lead the way, be the lighthouse, be the light, be the truth, be the change you want to see in the world. This is how we make the magic happen. And again, deepest gratitude for all those who have supported me, my um, group membership container, my those who've taken part in the calls, those who've supported me on the channel with comments, likes, with donations. Thank you so, so much for supporting my work, helping me to make it all the way through. And as always, one truly, trust me, it's all going to be more than magical. So this is truly, please imagine big, big ass miracles, truly new earth, okay? Not little rescue packages, not these fallen timelines, okay? that they call ascension timelines out there, truly infinite abundance, creating out of thin air, anything we need, all resources shared, infinite abundance. And again, it's way beyond money, no more money, just anything you can dream of, just there. Because reality is imagined. And this is truly where we access infinite abundance and we are the stewards, we are the treasurers of new earth the guardians of making sure that this now that we are the true you know the, the new kings and queens because we hold the blueprints for reality within us truly and then project it out so whatever you wish for truly you know yes you deserve the best of the best because you can ultimately if you would project anything out would, would you do a bad version of whatever you want no you would want it in the highest quality why wouldn't you so imagine that, imagine full freedom, imagine landings, imagine full contact. Again, keep tuning in with your cosmic family, us around the campfire, the celebrations fully online, everybody fully awakening right now over the next 48 hours, 72 truly, please. If anything, anyone, everyone, I mean, it can't hurt, can it? What's there to lose? So truly, imagine new earth right here, right now. Now is the only time there ever was. Past, present, and future are fully collapsing right now within the still point, back into the cosmic mother's womb. Along with the false matrix, all of the false programming. So let it go already. Embrace the new, embrace truth as you fully surrender. All attachments to source. Just... Allow yourself to be surprised. Imagine big and beautiful, but just don't have any attachment of how and what exactly or when it's going to come in. But I know it's here now. So truly, this is where all time collapses into the eternal now moment. So keep letting go. Keep imagining the very best. Make it really, really big. It's truly God dreaming through you as you fully empty yourself. Okay. Thank you so much. So really, think healing miracles, yeah? Everyone, everything, fully ascended, fully, completely. Crystalline realities, golden cities, cities in the sky, full multidimensional access. Infinite abundance. All projected out from inside of our fully opening, bursting, diamond, crystalline rose and lotus hearts, diamond mines, our crystalline structures, crystalline bodies, the starborn reborn, you fully lit up all of reality, fully igniting, fully resetting. You, crystalline, liquid light, the technologies held inside of you, 
feel into it, ignite it. Again, the activation will help you a lot with that. The details are below. Thank you so much for those who are still taking part. Keep tuning into the field. There is a lot still happening. Let's keep amplifying. Keep anchoring these frequencies, these truths, and be that. That is what changes everything. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love. So many blessings. Bye-bye.